the speech from the debate is going to be about um, the benefits of human cloning and how we're uh, we're going to remove the ban on human cloning. And uh, some of the benefits of human cloning uh, consist of like curing certain forms of cancer, uh, or being able to reverse signs of aging, uh, treat brain diseases, uh, heart attacks, um, for cosmetic, reconstructive um, cosmetic surgery. Uh, being able to clone human stem cells for stem cell research. Um, the, the ability to clone replacement organs. Uh, allowing infertile couples to have um, uh, a clone or children through use of cloning. And, um, and the ability to bring back like, extinct species through cloning. So, um, I'll start off by saying that um, um, there have been reports of, um, or, okay. um, genetically altered white blood cells have been used to treat cancer patients um, that have limited um, immune cells. So just by adding, by cloning the immune cells and adding more to the body, that would help fight off and actually, um, in essence, cure the cancer in this case. Um, and then, okay, according to Dr. Richard C., um, one of the leading proponents of human cloning technology, that uh, one day it would be possible to reverse the aging process due to us figuring out us better understanding how we age through cloning research. Um, we treated brain disease um, similar to Parkinson's disease in mice and um, by injecting um, We've cloned skin cells. Um, we've been able to uh, basically um, cure them from their disease in the mice. Um, um, Uh, for heart attack victims, also, um, they were able to restore um, myocardial heart muscle function and replace 40% of the scar tissue. And um, that's by just injecting the stem cells, bone stem cells into the heart. It would actually help build, because the, the stem cells, they know what to do in the body. So they just, they know where to go and how to cure it. Um, we've been able to, uh, we're starting to make um, replacement organs in pigs that have been altered to be human organs, like replacement hearts, lungs, and kidneys, that were be able to safely transplant into humans. Um, I testing, but and <coughs> using certain DNA taken from skin samples, uh, scientists were able to replace to genetic material in eggs from domestic goats to clone a female Pyrenean ibex or Bacardo, as they are known. And they were recently extinct um, in 2000, or in the year 2000, they became extinct. And then we saved uh, some of their <coughs> cells, we put it on frozen them, and 
and then we were able to use it to successfully clone the IVEX, um, which is the first time that thing down will uh, ever been on exchange. So, um, those are the benefits of the Yeah. Hi, I'm Dominique, and I'm going to GIMP. 